There's so many things that happened in the 90s that you can't, you can't fault it. You can tell it was a decade that, um, you know, that people looked at, they look back at it even now. Even people who were born in that decade look back and they realise that it's a very important time in, in terms of clothing, in terms of music, in terms of so much things. It's a very, it's a very important time. I wanted to do something that would um, encapsulate a time that um, I grew up in, a time that has been emulated quite a bit, but we have never given kudos to the source. So a lot of people don't know where a lot of the stars originated from, and they originated from this time. I think in, in the 90s we were a bit more free, a bit more experimental, with our fashion and our sort of thinking about what, what looks good and what doesn't. Um, there was no like like button to so let you know if it was right or it was wrong. You just did your own thing until like, you know. That's how, that's how the fashion started. So yeah, that's that's why that's why the night is pretty great. Showing off your ass because you think you miss a train girlfriend. With a lot of the clothing that we wore back in those days, we didn't take pictures like you do today. So that was one of the challenges that I had was trying to get these images. But once I started seeing people doing their throwback Thursdays and I saw all the images, I was like, I need to document this because it's such an important time. And I think that um, it was a time like, we, we were stylish, man. We were stylish. Well, you see it in me now. I wear, I wear it all day. Moschino, head to toe, I was Versace, all that kind, of, that kind of movement. Back in the day, you'd be walking the street and you see someone wearing mosh or like Versace shades or iceberg history on and you'd know they've been to the they've been to the rave that you were at last night, the garage rave or the jungle rave and it was like an underworld, I don't know man. And, 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 and now it's just a bit it's a bit different but that whole fashion is back, what you see all the kids wear now, how you're wearing, how you're dressing could, could have been rocking it back then, you've got the Nike, you've got the verse. It's it's all happening now again. So when you see people dressing today, that's what was going on then and for people like me who, who are still mentally stuck there, it's great, it's great to see. I wanted to educate people, I wanted to let them know, um, I wanted them to see people who are not just talking about the time, who lived the time, so they had all the clothing, they had stories, I wanted to, you know, when people looked at the pictures I wanted them to feel like, wow, oh I remember that and that's what a lot of people have said, that's why we've got also the record sleeves and stuff, because it wasn't just the clothing, it was the music, it was um, the way you wore your stuff. Next in the pipeline is a documentary, top secret, some documentaries, um, and they will be based around culture and music, some more, you know, interviews with musicians, um, and some more exhibitions. The music was really tied in with the fashion back then, because there was a big dance culture. So particularly for the trainer culture, is like, you know, people were gravitating towards trainers that basically looked good when you were moving, when you were moving your feet, things that were comfortable, things that if you went to a warehouse party or like some orbital rave and they got too mashed up, you could fling them in the washing machine and clean them up and they'd be cool, yeah? So they were very, very, I think they're definitely a lot more linked than they are now. Trainers are just like a really important thing, especially for like young guys growing up in inner city London, you know, you can get a pair of trainers, it just makes you feel good, do you know what I mean? And then obviously into the culture sort of rappers, films growing up, um, it's just it's just part of life, you know what I mean? So trainers, I always call it like our culture is like hip hop, sneakers, fashion and art, and it just everything fused together is what we live. Creativity is a form of expression, it's something that not everybody has. But I think those that do have it, it's sort of like a sort of, you're part of a sort of exclusive club. I think that someone once said to me that everyone can be creative in some way, shape or form. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that because I think you have to have certain elements in your personality or your, you know, certain attributes to be a creative person. You can be creative in whatever field you choose to be in, but in terms of creativity in this sort of guys, like as in media, as in exhibitions, as all that sort of thing, I think you have to have lived it as well. So I think once you can live it and then transcend it into some form of creativity, that I've done, like what I've done with the exhibition, I think that is the essence of creativity.